now, Channel 3, early warning weather. Well, for quite some time now, we've been talking about how we need some rain. And uh, for the uh, spring season, which began March 1st, which is the meteorological spring, we're running up a pretty big deficit, just a little over two and a half inches for the greater Hartford area. That's a deficit of 1.92 inches and Bridgeport, 3.09 inches of rain, a deficit of 1.94 inches. Before this week is over, that deficit is going to rise well over two inches. So we need rain and there is hope for rain, but it is coming over the weekend starting on Sunday and going into Monday. And according to the uh, GFS model, we could pick up anywhere from a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of rain, which is not enough, but it certainly is something that uh, we uh, do really need. We'll take it. All right, 50 degrees in Hartford now after a high of 70. The sea breeze has cooled things off, but for now the wind is calm. Waterbury is uh, pretty cool at 47 degrees, just a light southeasterly breeze. And there's our ICAM in New Haven. You can see a few clouds off in the distance, and the current temperature there is 48. One of the cooler spots is Groton at 46 degrees. We're in the 40s and low 50s, and by morning we'll be in the upper 30s and 40s statewide. So a jacket is needed tomorrow morning, but in the afternoon it's going to be balmy. So it was 70 today in Hartford, 58 in Boston. You work your way to the south and west. Temperatures were in the 70s even 81 in Pittsburgh and 83 in Washington, D.C. Now, we're not going to see temperatures that warm, but I wouldn't be surprised if we top 70 again tomorrow, Friday, and especially on Saturday. So get used to these uh, May-like temperatures, at least through the first half of the weekend. So we do have some clouds over eastern New England, maybe a couple of clouds over Connecticut, but the sky is mainly clear as that dry northwesterly flow continues to protect us. So as far as future cast goes, partly cloudy skies tonight and tomorrow morning. And then as we go through the day tomorrow, I think uh, we'll see some patchy clouds trending toward brighter skies during the afternoon. So we may start out mainly clear tomorrow evening then going into Friday morning with the light ocean flow. There might be areas of low clouds and fog that will give way to a partly sunny day and then more clouds will likely move in for uh, Thursday night or I should say a Friday night on into uh, Saturday morning. But again, it's uh, going to be shaping up to be a beautiful start to the weekend. All right, so lows tonight, 40 to 45 for much of us. It's going to be a nice night. The wind is light, and that's the way it's going to be come early tomorrow morning for the uh, morning commute. And highs tomorrow, much like today. Low 60s along the I-95 corridor, 61 in New London, but 70 at Enfield and 71 for the second day in a row in uh, Danbury. All right, so here's uh, the GFS model going into the uh, weekend. You can see that Saturday's going to be dry, but then on Sunday, a storm is going to track right up across the Great Lakes. A secondary storm will bring rain near the coast of uh, New England, and there it is, rain sa Sunday morning, and we might get a break. It could taper off to drizzle, but then more rain uh, could fill in for Sunday evening, and more showers are likely as we go into uh, Monday as the upper level system with this storm kind of hangs around. So a couple of days of unsettled weather, but in the meantime, we are looking beautiful. 70 tomorrow, Friday, 73 on Saturday. Rain will cool things off to 60 on Sunday. Monday highs in the upper 50s with showers and then lower 60s Tuesday and Wednesday. And for the shoreline, 63 for the next couple of days and peaking at 65 on Saturday.